Branding your store allows your business to identify with your customers as well as it allows your customers to identify with your brand. And what happens from that is you will get repeat customers, loyal customers to your business, and that is very important in the long run. If you've thought about branding your business and have been wondering if you can brand a dropshipping business, the answer to that is a big yes, and I highly recommend you to do so. That is why in this video, I will show you how you can brand your dropshipping business no matter what selling channel you are using. Quick intro and let's go. Welcome back, I'm Liran from AutoDS and in this video you're going to learn how to brand your dropshipping business. Yes, even if you are dropshipping, no matter what selling channel you are using. And for those of you who don't know, branding your dropshipping store simply gives your customers a way to identify with your brand, a way to connect with it. And branding your store can come in different ways. For example, the way that your store looks, the whole visualization experience that your customer gets when experiencing your business, when browsing through your online store, your cover image, your store's logo, your favicon up top there on top of your browser's tabs. But branding your store is not just a visualization effect. It's not just your brand design styles and colors but it's also the way that you speak out with your buyers. It's what messages you send out to them, how you speak to them, and also when you send out those messages, and not just that. So branding goes a long way, and it will really help the long-term survivability of your dropshipping business, because this is a great way, one of the best ways to drive repeat customers to your store and have them refer their friends and their family to buy from you too. So that is exactly what we're going to break down in this video. One second before we begin, if you haven't done so yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel to always stay updated on all of the latest and all of the hottest topics that we have coming out in the world of dropshipping. That being said, like and share this video if you appreciate the value. Now let's go ahead and get started and learn what what are the best methods to brand our dropshipping business and get our buyers to identify with our business. For those of you who don't know what dropshipping is, I'm going to go over it really, really briefly. Dropshipping is a business model where you can simply sell products without holding them in your inventory, meaning you have no upfront costs and you only pay once you get paid. It simply means that you are selling products from third party sellers who are more than happy for you to help them achieve more sales and you are simply keeping the profit between the supplier's price and the price that you are selling it on your selling channel. So you've got dropshipping suppliers, you've got your selling channel where you're selling your products, you're importing your products from those suppliers to your dropshipping store and you're making those sales. And this video is going to show you how you can brand that dropshipping store and once again increase customer loyalty, get more sales in the long run and increase your profits much much higher. Now everything that I'm going over in this video you can also read about it in the blog article which I'll leave a link to in the description below. So if you're the type that likes to read go ahead and read after watching this video because I always like to throw in extra bonus content in my video recordings. Okay so we already understand that a brand is a way to get your company to communicate with your buyers, get them to identify with your brand and get your brand once again to identify with your buyers. This means, for example, you're now looking to buy pet products and you're browsing around the internet looking for pet products and you're seeing a whole bunch of stores that don't have any specific brand. They're selling a whole bunch of things, not just pet products, but also general products, maybe some home appliances and simply things that don't have to do around the pets niche. And then comes along a pet niche store that has a nice strong brand attached to it with a professional looking logo, a nice cover image and the whole store simply looks like a serious pet business. And this is a brand that you can identify with because it simply speaks to you to what you like, to your interests, and to what you're looking to buy. This is a small example of how the branding effect works, and you are all familiar with big companies like Apple, Samsung, Sony, Microsoft, and others who have done a brilliant job in branding their companies. So not only do they provide good software or hardware, technological gadgets, and so much more, they've also branded their stores in a way where you can never forget their names. Now granted, we may not grow as big as Apple, Samsung, and all of those other companies. It, of course, nothing is impossible, but either way, the branding effect works the same way even when you're running a dropshipping store. So what is branded dropshipping? Simply connect the two that I put together. What is dropshipping? 
what is a branded business put those two together you now have a branded dropshipping store now many people ask themselves how can i have a branded dropshipping store how can i brand my products if i'm dropshipping because the advanced dropshippers or those who have started before know that since you are not paying for your inventory upfront, you're not purchasing it in advance. So the products are not even yours. So who would brand the products with your brand if you're not even buying those products in the first place, only after you make a sale? So what, some manufacturer is going to start branding all of your products and hope that you will make sales because what happens if you don't? He's gonna get stuck with those products and not you. And most manufacturers are not gonna be down with this type of business model unless you're some big business and they know you and they trust you and you have a track record for several years. But in most cases, that is not the case but that is not what we're here to do we're not going to brand our products one by one that is what retail businesses do those that actually hold inventory those who are not drop shipping so when you're buying your products in advance you can get the manufacturer to brand your products or brand your packaging because hey you, you paid for it in advance so you can now do whatever you want with it but you're responsible for selling it otherwise you're going to lose the money that you invested in creating those products so we are not talking about branding your products even though keep in mind if you have been drop shipping for a while now and and you have a niche that's been selling really well for you, you can speak to manufacturers, for example, on Alibaba and ask them what it would take for them to brand your packages. Start with just branding your packages and not buying in advance. But since you do know that you are going to make sales, then you can guarantee them that if you will not sell all those products, then you will pay for them. That is a good way to brand your products or your products packaging while you are drop shipping, but only if you have a proven track record of sales. And of course, you'll have to negotiate with those manufacturers. And starting with a place like Alibaba is a great place to do that. Now we've spoke about it, but let's go over it really quick. What are the benefits of branded drop shipping? So we know that we're going to get loyal customers we're also going to get fewer returns because customers know that they are dealing with a high quality business selling high quality products. So you will get fewer returns from these loyal customers. You'll also have an edge over your competitors because most of your competition is not doing a great job branding their stores. And since you are, it takes you one step ahead of them. Another advantage is that you can also have higher profit margins. Now, how is that you ask? You're searching the internet for a specific dog collar and you found two stores who are selling a product that actually looks exactly the same. The only difference is one is a general store selling more things additional things on top of pet products they're also selling like i mentioned in my previous example some home appliances maybe some outdoor products and it's not a pet store and on the other hand you're seeing that same exact dog collar on a pet store that's only selling products for pets that branded their stores in a pets niche and you will simply connect more with that brand you might even buy more than just that one dog collar so you're actually increasing the value in your cart or your average order value which is something that you're going to get from your buyers when you're running a branded store so not only are they going to add more products to their cart but they're also going to pay more to the branded store because they know that this is a business that knows exactly what they are doing they're selling high quality products and they are focused on my niche so they know what they're doing much more than that general store that i don't even know if i can trust a store isn't really focused on my niche as a buyer the last benefit is that you are building reputation and this has the compounding effect. The longer you are selling from a branded store, the more repeat customers you're going to get, the more customers who identified with your brand you're gonna get, and the more customers who are going to refer their friends and their family to also purchase from your branded business, you're also going to get that too. So in the long run, you're building a great reputation for your business, and in a year, in two years, in three years, you will see a significant difference between having the branded store that you now have when compared to having a non-branded store selling just general items or maybe trying to focus in on a niche but just not doing it in a very good way. So we understand what branded means. So how do we get along to doing that? First thing, in order to get into branded dropshipping, you wanna try selling in a specific niche. Now, if you're not sure if your niche is a good one, if this niche is even in demand at all, and a way to do that is of course to conduct heavy product research on that niche that you want to tap into. One of the best ways to conduct product research is to use our product research dropshipping spreadsheet. And if you don't know about it, you can get it from our Shopify course, which is 100% free. Okay, don't worry. I'm not gonna sell you anything in this video. I just want you to increase your knowledge. So what you're gonna do is head over to autods.com and you can hover over research Courses and then click on courses or just go to dot.com slash courses and enroll in the Shopify course because here you're not only going to learn 
how to create a branded Shopify store, but you can also take many of the things that you're learning from this free course with about 40 videos, 40 lessons, and take that into other selling channels that you are using, especially when it comes to branding your store. So in the Shopify course, scroll down, click on resources, and click to get the AutoDS Shopify course resources. Inside this Shopify course resources PDF, you have a link to the product research dropshipping spreadsheet. So if I just scroll down to the part where we start teaching you about product research, under find the best dropshipping products to sell, you'll have the link right here to the product research dropshipping spreadsheet. And what you're going to do here is search for products to sell. Okay, we're going to get into that into a couple of minutes, but that's not the point of this video. Search for products to sell, add their information into this spreadsheet, and then answer all the questions that you have here on the right side. And once you answer yes to all of the rows, all of the columns, that is a potential product. And once you have a few of them coming from the same niche, then you know that this niche is a good one for your store. And you should definitely try to sell under that niche and see how that goes for you. So first of all, you want to sell in a specific niche. It's much better than running a general store. Although for beginners, it's easier to start with a general store to see what products sell and notice a trend, notice a pattern in a product that's selling a lot or a few products from the same niche. And then you can focus on that niche, try to create a store based off of that niche. And believe me, one of the things that you are going to learn when running a dropshipping business is how to test the market. And the more you test, the better the results are going to get. You're not going to land a hot sell on your first product and maybe not even on your fifth or 10th product. But the more you research, the higher chance you will have to find that winning niche and scale to the moon with it. But before that, that, let's slow down a little bit. So you're going to sell in a specific niche. You're going to learn how to private label your products and packages, even though I already mentioned that. So it's about talking to your manufacturers. If you have a product that's selling well for you, go to Alibaba, search for that specific niche that you are selling. You will find manufacturers who can create that product for you and then send them a message and start negotiating on what they can do to brand your products or brand your packages. At least at least start with that and slowly you work your way up having unique store visuals, which we talked about and we'll talk about some more. Also, how to do it, the full tutorial and personalized customer service, which again, we will get to. So how do we create and run a branded dropshipping store and a successful one at that? Step-by-step -step tutorial, let's go. Step number one, as I mentioned, is to identify what niche you want to sell under. Now, there are many niches out there. Niche, by the way, means category or niche, whatever way you want to say it. And once again, this has to do with what you are actually going to sell on your store. My suggestion to you is to sell under a niche that you actually have a passion for. And that is actually one of the questions that you are going to get asked in that product research dropshipping spreadsheet, as you can see right here. Are you passionate about this product that you just listed right here? And if the answer is no, then I don't recommend you to sell that niche because you're going to have to understand what you are selling. You're going to have to connect with it yourself in order to manage this business in a much more efficient way. Now, as I mentioned, conducting in-depth product research and testing products over and over and over and over, it's a tough job. It's not an easy one and it's time consuming, but it's one of the most important jobs that you will have when running your dropshipping business. Now you can automate most aspects of your dropshipping business, meaning you can invest your time only in the important things like product research and customer service, even though those two can also be automated. But if you're going to put your work into that and into growing more dropshipping stores and testing more niches and more categories, this is the exponential way to successfully grow. And as I just said, scale to the moon. Okay, so once again, conduct product research. There are many ways to do it. Read the blog once again below this video if you want to learn about all the methods. But some of the best product research methods that you have is by simply going to our blog page at autods.com blog or hovering over the resources and clicking on dropshipping blog. And here you can click on product finding and bestsellers to see only the articles that have dropshipping products in them. For example, how to find dropshipping products to sell on eBay with Zik Analytics if you want to use paid tools. If not, you can just get the ideas that we are getting from our databases and from our year Years and years of experience in dropshipping, top 10 products for June, top 10 products for May, since those are the months that we're into right now, 100 plus best products for 2022, top nine products for April, 11 watch products, and just click on show more and it goes on and on and on and on. So this place 
is a great and wonderful place to get product ideas. Just go through all of the products there, see what you connect with, and then start to analyze that specific niche. That is one way to do it. Another is to simply head over to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash AutoDS. There we have a playlist called Sell These Now, the hottest drop shipping products. So once again, if you are the type that likes to watch, just take a look at how many product finding videos we have for you here. And we have so many new things coming out in product research. For example, soon you're also gonna see much more information, including what sellers are actually selling this product, what ads they're running on this product, if they have any success on those ads, how much they are selling, where they're getting the products from, how much they're profiting, and what you can do to copy a similar practice but do it even better and have much more success. It's all about product research and that is why I am emphasizing on this subject more than a little. Another way to find great product ideas is by simply implementing our new product research feature that's already implemented inside the AutoDS system. So simply head over to AutoDS, click on those dots on the top left, move over to the product research system, and here you're going to see the best products and the best product ideas that you can not only analyze and read about their reviews and the product's description and the information, the specifications and so forth. You'll also see the shipping time and that's all from the outside. You can click on it to read even more information on the inside as well as import that product in simply one click to your store if you want to add that specific product. And on the left side, you can filter popular products, new products, holiday products to get you ready for the holidays, US suppliers, China suppliers, and soon we're also going to add private wholesale dropshipping suppliers that you will have exclusive access to and differentiate yourself from the competition even more. Step number two, you need to pick your products. So after you identified your niche, it's now time to start selecting which of those products you wanna sell on your store. So you're going to use that product research dropshipping spreadsheet to help narrow down those products. The ones that have no are going to be canceled out and only go to the ones where you have yes on all of the columns. Those those are the products with the highest potential for you to start selling in your stores. For example, let's say that you really went with the pets niche and what you're going to do now is pick the best pet products, the best ones that you can find with the highest selling potential from that specific niche, of course, that you are interested in, in this example, pets niche. So find the best selling products under that niche that you found that you are interested in selling. And to help you pick out your products, of course, you're going to need to know which dropshipping suppliers are selling them and we're going to get to that very soon. Step number three is to learn how to craft your branded message. Once your customers purchase from your store, you want to send them personalized messages including thank you for purchasing from our store, sending them a message when tracking information is available and sending them a message after they receive their products, after they have a few days to tamper around with it and enjoy their product, send them another message to come back to your store, leave a positive review and maybe even offer them a special promotion to purchase from your store again. And all of this can be 100% automated if you are dropshipping on AutoDS, otherwise you can send manual messages to your customers. But this is a great way to not only be communicating with your customers, which is something that many of them are looking for, but you're also adding the branding effect by adding your brand's name and helping the customer remember your brand and connect with it even more. Here's an example of how to do it from the AutoDS system. On the left side, I'm going to click on settings and then I'll click on the order settings. Now, of course, make sure on the left side that you are under the right selling channel. For example, let's go to my eBay USA store and check out the order settings that I have for Amazon US in this example. So what happens here is once I have automatic orders enabled, the system can and will also send automatic messages to my buyers. And what I wanna do here is configure those messages and make my brand stick out and of course, make the customer appreciate my message. So what we can do in this example, if we scroll Scroll down on orders to automatic messages to the clients. This, of course, is considering that I have the automatic orders enabled. If you don't have that, go to plans and add-ons and enable the automatic orders processor. It costs only $8 a month. And this way you can automate all of your orders. As soon as they come in, they will get processed automatically by the system, including automatic tracking number updates and so much more. Okay, so once again, in the settings, we're gonna click on orders and make sure that we selected our store and clicked on our desired supplier. Now we're gonna scroll down to automatic messages to the clients. So first we have a message after the order was placed. Now you can edit this message and make it completely customizable. For example, hello, and then you can click on the buyer first name here. It'll add this trigger right here, and this way it'll actually write the buyer's first name instead of this. So hello, buyer first name, like James, for example. This way they'll feel like you're actually really reaching out to them. Thank you for purchasing. And then you can click on the product title. So it'll actually show the product's title. So thank you for purchasing dog pet collar. Okay. So thank you for purchasing this dog pet collar, whatever. 
I hope that you will enjoy your purchase or let's say and if there is any trouble do not hesitate to reach out to us at dogs are us example right let's say that's the name of your business that is the brand you're actually creating a brand around dogs are us and continue crafting your message but make sure that the customer understands who you are and who your brand is this is a great way to help brand your store so continue customizing your messages you can also add a message for when tracking number is available and when the order was delivered and to also leave automatic feedback to the buyer if it is of course on ebay and a gift message if you are dropshipping from amazon in this example you can send your customer gift messages so your messages will be marked as a gift anyway so your customer will not see the receipt they won't know how much your product costs but they'll also get a neat little gift message with their package and this is a great great way to add your brand so in this case hi enjoy is very plain very simple we're going to change it to yay your product has arrived don't forget to let us know how much you and enjoyed it and in this case i'm going to add my brand name here so don't forget to update dogs are us on how much you enjoyed it or anything like that just add your brand and a gift message is another great way to do that so all of this is automated for you and will also help build your brand so crafting a message is another important part of helping brand your store and helping the customer remember your brand and also connect to it step number four you want to choose a store logo now there are many free logo creators out there that you can use and you can also hire freelancers and even cheap ones at that to create very professional and unique logos for your store like fiverr.com or upwork.com but in this case for creating a store logo today there are more than enough companies that will do it for you for free and one of my favorites are hatchful if you haven't heard about them simply click on hatchful or head over to hatchful.shopify.com it is completely free to use even if you do not have a shopify store even if you're selling on other marketplaces like wix you can still create free logos using hatchful so here for example i clicked on get started and and let's create a quick logo and see how easy this can be done. So here we're going on the pets niche. So I'm going to click on pets and choose your visual style. So any visual style that you can connect with here, you can choose none of the above. But in this case, let's just go with um, let's go with something calm. OK, and your business name. So in this case, let's change it to dogs are us and slogan for all dog lovers. Click on next. Tell us where the logo will be used. So I'm going to keep it on online store or website. Click on next. Just a couple of seconds later, check out all of these free logos. Dogs are us. I've got the dog part right here with a D. I got a fish aquarium right here, which is not the product that I'm selling. But check this out. I got a dogs are us with an actual dog on the bottom. Dogs are us with a bone and many more. So as you can see, it is very easy to create a free logo for your website and you don't really need to hire freelancers today if you do not want to. So I'm just going to choose any one of these logos like this one. That's good. Let's go with this one. I really like the first one. OK, so I clicked on edit logo. Now, this template specifically does not support slogans. So whatever slogan you wrote is not going to be relevant for this one. But of course, it's relevant for others. Now, here, of course, you can change the writing. You can change the business's name. You can change the fonts. OK, you can play around with it. Choose something that you're really connected with. Of course, changing the colors. So, of course, you can completely change the colors of the text and the background icons okay so you can add other icons besides that dog if you didn't really like what they gave you there but in this case i actually really liked it so let's go back to animals and let's bring that dog back i don't know if it was that one but that's also a good one okay then you've got in this in this case just a couple of layout examples but let's say this is a perfect logo that i want i'm going to click on next congratulations on your new logo download your free logos now and in this downloaded file you're going to get high resolution logos favicon which is this logo that we're seeing up here on your chrome browser facebook profile image so you can create a facebook store or a facebook page and promote your business even more there facebook cover photo two different variations instagram profile image another social media channel and twitter where you can increase your brand awareness even more as well as pinterest linkedin and youtube all of that 100 for free some things may seem too good to be true but this one actually is too good and it's also true now for this you're going to have to have a Shopify account even if you don't have a paid account you simply need to create a free account on Shopify okay so in this case I'm just going to sign in with my credentials this is one of my favorite ways to get free logos and of course I highly recommend you to use their service now of course there are many professional free logo makers out there that just happens to be one of my personal favorites now you need to choose a supplier because it's time to start grabbing the products from that niche that you found and actually start to import them to your store now in order to find a great dropshipping supplier there are many suppliers out there some are retail suppliers some 
some are wholesale suppliers some do not support the dropshipping business model but that does not mean that you cannot dropship from them and some of course fully appreciate and support the dropshipping business model and they can't wait for you to get their products and list them on your selling channel so how do you know what is the best supplier to use there are many of them out there but to get a nice view of the best dropshipping suppliers out there once again on autods.com head over to that top banner and click on suppliers here you'll see over 25 dropshipping suppliers that you can use today to start grabbing products from them and import them to your store of course you can use dropshipping automation software like autods to enjoy price and stock monitoring quick product importing automatic orders automatic tracking updates price automation settings and so much more and the best part here is that you can use that quick product importer to import one tens hundreds thousands or even tens of thousands of products at once in just a few seconds from your suppliers to your dropshipping store and these suppliers that you see right here are some of the best dropshipping suppliers that you can ever deal with so be sure to head over to our suppliers page and see what are some of the best suppliers that you can use today now of course you want to look for suppliers that can offer fast shipping times to your target audience so for example if you're dropshipping to the uk then you want to find uk dropshipping suppliers and the way to be able to filter them easily is by standing on that suppliers page and clicking on United Kingdom. So in this case, I'm going to click on UK and I can see all of these suppliers, AliExpress, Amazon, Banggood, eBay, Wayfair, Costway, VitaXL and DHgate.com that all have warehouses in the UK and I can use their services to ship quickly to the UK audience. So that's just a quick tip regarding suppliers, but let's get back to branding. This video has been going on for, I think, about half an hour now and we need to get to the branding part besides what we are already got to up until now so step number six is to choose a selling channel now that you have your suppliers you have your products you know your niche you need to choose a selling channel where you're actually going to post these products import them to your selling channel and start selling it from there so in this case you have many different selling channels that you can use some of the best ones out there are ebay shopify facebook marketplace and wix of course all of them are fully supported by AutoDS, so you can enjoy full business automation using those selling channels and if you want to learn about the selling channels and the differences between them simply click click on the link below the best dropshipping platforms for 2022 of course linked in the article in the description below this video and here you can learn about the best dropshipping platforms and of course watch the embedded video if you want to watch and here you're going to learn about all those selling channels ebay facebook marketplace shopify wix amazon and so much more now my personal recommendations are ebay shopify and wix if you are into branding you can also try to brand your listings on facebook marketplace but it's more difficult there full customization options for creating a branded store is done really well on shopify and wix since you have full customization options there and then you also have ebay which gives you some control over how your virtual storefront looks and i will show you an example on all of those selling channels soon so choose your selling channel your next step is to select an automation software because this is where the price and stock monitoring automatic orders price automation settings quick product importing and so much more comes into play and you will simply not be able to scale your branded business without an automation tool and here of course i'm going to talk about none other than auto ds without going too much into detail because i want to show you guys finally how you can easily brand your stores but one of the best things that you're going to get with auto ds is free templates to use on your dropshipping store so if you're dropshipping on shopify or ebay or wix you can use these free templates that come with the system or of course you can add your own templates you can create your own customized templates if you have graphic designing experience or you can hire freelancers as i mentioned before on fiverr or upwork or other freelancer websites to create a free template for your store they already know what the dimensions need to be and you can let them know what type of brand design and visualization experience you want in order to get customers to connect with your brand and they will do it for you at a low low price now once you get your template you can easily add it on AutoDS. so once again we're going to go to settings and here we're going to click on templates now here under AutoDS templates you can click on ebay and preview all of these templates right now the preview image isn't working but i can just click on preview right here to show you the free template that you are going to get so this for example is to prepare your stores for black friday so right now if you got black friday going on you can use this template and you can also edit these templates and make them your own by adding your company's logo like the one that you created at hatchful or any other logo creator but here is a good example of the free templates that you're going to get when you're using auto ds so of course those are just a couple of examples and you can continue playing around with it and see what template you like the most 
what complements your niche the most, and where, of course, you can add your brand in the best way to provide that visualization experience for your buyers. Now, back to the My Template section, you can also add a blank template. Just give it a name, for example, Pets template, click on create. And here I have a blank template. So I can click on edit. And if I had a professional create a template for me, I'm simply going to copy and paste that information right here. And I will have a ready-made template. Otherwise, you can start creating your own template from scratch right here. Add your logo, add your brand identity, and add everything that will make your store visually complement your brand. And of course, get the buyer to notice it and keep it in their memories. So that is really quick regarding templates. Take advantage of that because that is a great way to brand your store. After you added your automation tool, it's time to start importing your products to your store. There are many ways to do it. And of course, if you're using AutoDS, you're gonna use the best methods to save the most amount of time and not spend all day just importing products to your store and not really getting much done besides that because that is all the time that you had and you consumed it all into importing products. So learn about all of the best features, all of the best ways to import your products. Of course, you can use the links in the blog article below this video to learn more about that. Step number nine is to customize your store. And this is where the fun starts. So you already started branding your store by using Hatchful or any other free logo maker that made a logo for your store or a cover image or for your social media pages and for your website for your favicons on the Chrome extension tabs and so much more. We also went over using templates for your store, how to acquire templates if you wanna create a unique one for your store, but at least you have something to start off with until you hire a graphic designer to help you with that. But once again, use freelancer websites to get a good price on these layouts. You can even find them for as low as five to $10. So how do we customize our stores? There are many ways to do it. And of course, multiple selling channels where you can customize your stores. Let's go over the basics. Here, I've got my Shopify store. And the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm on the Shopify dashboard, of course, and I clicked on online store and themes on the left side. And of course, the first thing that I'm gonna do is customize my theme to make it complement my brand. Now, right now I'm using the free debut theme and I customized it to really complement my brand. Now, how did I do that? First, as you can see, I used a good logo. In this example, it's from Hatchful and I created a website called Doggy Dog Club. So as you can see, that is my brand for this demo purpose. And when someone enters my store, this is one of the first things that they're gonna see. Now, what's missing here, if you ask me, I can also add a cover image right here to complement my brand even more. But as you see here, we've got everything pet related in on this website, even if the titles here are not optimized, that's not the point right now. This is a demo store, but just to show you what you can do to brand your store. And if you enter this store, you realize that it is a pet store. We're not selling anything else here besides the niche that we're focused on. And we talked about that. So one of the best ways to brand your Shopify store is first of all, to use a theme that can complement your brand and your niche. And of course, to use that logo and use even a cover image to showcase your brand even more. You can also follow the same practices on Wix. Simply sign up to Wix. It's a free account. Create your free website, even though you're not going to get your own domain right at the start unless you have a Wix store subscription, but you can play around with it for free create a website, get the look and feel of things and see if this is the platform where you want to host your online store. This is the dashboard that you will be greeted with after you create your free Wix account. And then what you want to do here on the right side is click on edit site, and then it's going to take you to the website editor. And here you can fully customize your website, including your logos, your cover image, and so much more. So you can see right here, I created a real quick draft. It's called pet shop. It's not branded yet. What I'm gonna do is simply hover over the section that I want to edit, and then I'm gonna click on edit or design where you can choose different types of layouts for your website and connect it with your brand colors and design. Or I can simply click on edit and it'll allow me to edit the section right here. So the text and of course the graphics that I wanna use. So I'm going to replace this one with a pets image. Now, one good way to do that is to simply search for it right here. So I can just search for pets and see what it comes up with. But on the other hand, you can also use free stock image websites to get images, free images that you can use on your website. Now, don't simply go to Google images and steal images from there because most of them are copyrighted and we don't want any legal issues with our store. But here, as you can see, I'm getting a lot of free images that I can use like this website right here on Splash is a free stock image website. I can use these images. So I'm gonna click on this one. Now, when you're simply hovering over the image here on the left side, simply click on it and click on apply and it will replace that image. So now we have a nice banner. And of course, you're not gonna use this one. You can use the one that has your actual brand or you can add that brand logo right here from Hatchful. 
This website, once again, is fully customizable when you're doing it on hosting platforms like Wix or Shopify, where everything is completely customizable. And it's not just a cover image and a logo up here. It's also the text that you're using. It's also your navigation menu. It's everything else that you're doing around your website that complements your brand style and design. So keep all of that in mind when continuing to customize your website. Now let's talk about eBay. eBay is not as customizable as Shopify or Wix, but you can still create a nice virtual storefront on eBay. Let me show you how I'm gonna do it on my eBay store. So here's my eBay sellers dashboard on one of my stores. And what I'm gonna do here is hover over store, and then you're gonna click on edit store. Here you can see my virtual storefront, or at least the editor side of it. And when one of your sellers clicks on your store, or they click on one of your items, they get to your listing, and then they click on view seller store, they're going to be greeted with the storefront, of course, the viewer side of it, and not the editing side of it. But here you can actually create something nice, get your potential buyer to connect with your store, to connect with your brand design and style. So what you're gonna do here is pretty much the same as what you did on Shopify and Wix, only here there are fewer options and it is more user friendly. So here, for example, you're going to edit your cover image so you can replace that with another cover image that of course complements your brand. If you created one, add it right here. Next, you can also change your store name. Mine right now is uh, blurred out and I'm sure that you guys can understand why. And of course your store's logo. So hover over the customize and replace that with your store's logo that you got from Hatchful or any other place. Next, you can click on the tell your story column right here and here write something about your store but more importantly write something about your brand for example pets are a huge part of our lives and hopefully they are for you too and continue customizing a message for example we started this pet business 10 years ago because of our love and passion for pets and continue describing your business, how you came to it, and of course, talk about your brand. So pets are us or dogs are us or whatever you're calling your business. Dogs are us is here to provide you with high quality items, fast shipping and exceptional customer support. We're sure your pets will love what you bought for them or purchased from, for them or anything. So make sure that your brand is known here. And something new that eBay added recently is a store video. So you can actually add a store video and people will be able to view that when they are seeing your storefront. So you can add a video that you have on your computer, maybe something about pets, something that is not copyrighted that can be used for commercial use. Or of course, record your own video, give a little explanation, give a little introduction, record a self video like I'm doing right here right now and talk about your business. Don't forget to talk about your brand because that is the most important part here. And of course, this will all play a significant effect on the branding effect for your dropshipping store. Now, if we go back to the stager store, then here you can add more images from pets and of course include your store's logo on them. And then you can select a category or a product that you actually wanna show them on your storefront. So it's like featured categories, featured listings, and you can use a marketing banner to drive promotions, show them more featured items, and simply get people to see your brand even more, click on it, connect with it, and make that purchase. So that is a quick overview on how you can technically brand your store on eBay, Shopify, Wix, and of course you can use that for other marketplaces too. Step number 10 is to market your products and your store. And you can add a lot of branding when you are marketing your products. For example, you can use Facebook ads and you can learn all about Facebook ads to promote your products 100% for free. Simply go to AutoDS, hover over resources, click on eBooks, and here you'll have a how to run Facebook ads for e-commerce in eight steps. With this, you will learn how to create successful video ads for your product, whether you have a video or not, and much more on top of that, how to run your campaigns, analyze them, audience targeting, and so much more. But the point here is to add your brand into your Facebook ads too. It needs to start from the moment you reach out to your audience all the way down until they add the products to their cart, check out, purchase the product, and get that email from you or that message from you also talking about your brand. So from the first point of contact where you marketed your product in front of your buyer, they saw your brand. 
They clicked on your website, they clicked on your ad, they got to your product page, they see your brand. They purchase the product and then they get a message from you, they see your brand. The more branding effect you add to your customer's flow, the higher the chance that it's going to stick with them and they will of course remember your brand, remember your store and they will come back to purchase from it again or as I mentioned at least refer their friends and their family to purchase from such a good brand. Now there are more marketing methods like influencer marketing, email marketing campaigns where you can easily showcase your brand and promoted listing standard and advanced for eBay. Once again you can read about all of these things in the blog article below this video but make sure to add your brand to each and every one of those methods. Step number 12 is to offer personalized customer service because after you're marketing your products you're finally going to make those sales. So you're going to offer personalized customer service because buyers are going to reach out to you. So every time a buyer reaches out to you make sure to reply to them, make sure to talk about your brand, at least mention it at least once in that message when you're replying to them and offer exceptional customer service. That is one thing that's going to not only drive repeat purchases from your customers but they will notice your brand even more that way wow pets r us really took good care of me when i had that problem with shipping process or with the items description or something like that i will definitely return to purchase from them again that is how consumer psychology works at least one small aspect of it and that is a great way to promote your brand and drive sales even further down the road so that pretty much wraps up this video of how to brand your drop shipping business from a to z all of the best methods no matter what selling channel you are using. I hope that this video helped you out and if it did let me know in the comments below. Same thing if you have any questions or comments let me know in the comments and I will personally answer them. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn about the next step in your e-commerce adventure to beat your competition and always stay ahead. Like and share this video if you appreciate the value. Thank you for watching and good luck branding your business.